Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello my beloved student of Minutrati Putra Gresik Especially my beloved student of second grade of ICB How are you today? I hope you feel happy and healthy today Again this time we are going to study mathematics We will study chapter 13 by the theme data handling Still study with me, Ms. Enda Trihana Okay everyone, to make anything more barokah Don't forget to pray Let's read Al-Fatihah together Al-Fatihah Amin. Uh, okay, now please prepare your mathematics book. In this chapter, especially in this video, we will learn to use Carroll and Venn diagram to sort numbers or objects. And in the second point, we will learn to organize information to make and understand graphs. Jadi dalam video pembelajaran ini khususnya di chapter 13 ini kita akan belajar tentang penggunaan diagram Carroll and also diagram Venn untuk mengurutkan angka atau benda. Dan juga kita akan membuat grafik tentang informasi yang ada. Oke, okay, let's begin to study. Here we go. Again this first point, in the first point we will study to sorting numbers or objects let's learn together look at these balls how many balls are there? look at here can you see balls? how many balls are there? lihatlah gambar berikut ada berapa banyak bola yang kalian bisa lihat Let's count and sort the balls using a table. Mari kita hitung dan juga kita urutkan bolanya menggunakan sebuah tabel. There is a basketball, football, and also table tennis ball. How many basketball are there? Good job. There are three basketballs. And then, please look at football. How many football do you see in the picture? Good job. There are two footballs. And the last, how many table tennis balls are there? Good job. There are five table tennis balls. So, from the table and from the picture, it can be concluded there are three basketballs. And also, there are two footballs. And the last, there are five table tennis balls. And the next question, how many balls are there all together? Berapa jumlah keseluruhan bola yang kalian lihat? Good job, there are ten balls all together. Jadi, kalian bisa menggunakan sebuah tabel untuk mengklasifikasikan benda dan juga menghitung bendanya. Okay, now let's continue to the next question. Number two, look at these numbers. What numbers do you see here? What number is this? Good job. Six, four, seven, nine, and two. The question is, how can we group the numbers? Bagaimana kita bisa mengelompokkan angka-angka tersebut? We can group the numbers using a Venn diagram. Jadi kita dapat mengelompokkan angka-angka tersebut dengan menggunakan diagram Venn. A Venn diagram uses circles or ovals to sort the information. Jadi diagram Venn itu menggunakan lingkaran atau oval untuk mengelompokkan informasi atau untuk mengurutkan informasi. This is how to make the circle or ovals. The word is number 9. How many number 9 are there? Good job, only one. And then, please write, not number 9, yang bukan angka 9. What number are there? Good job, 2, 4, 6, and 7. And then, we can also sort the number in this way. How to sort the numbers? You may sort by using this sentence, less than 7 and also more than 5. 
Please classify the numbers with less than 7. What number are there? Good job. 2, 4, and 6 are less than 7. How about more than 5? What number are there? Good job. 6, 7, and 9 are more than 5. Less than 7 and more than 5. Look at the red numbers. 6 is less than 7. 6 is also more than 5. It belong to the two groups. Angka 6 itu adalah angka yang kurang dari 7. Dan angka 6 juga angka yang kurang dari 5. Jadi, angka 6 itu merupakan bagian dari kedua kelompok tersebut. Oke, okay, let's continue to practice. Please look at the question number one. This picture shows some insects seen at a garden. Look at the pictures. What animals or what insect do you see in the picture? Throw a tick for each insect you see. The first one has been done for you. The insect do you see in the picture is grasshopper and then what else? Good job butterfly and also ladybird and the last is ant. How many grasshopper are there? There are three grasshoppers. And then please count how many butterfly are there? Good job. There are six butterflies. And the next insects is ladybird. How many ladybirds are there? Good job. There are nine ladybirds. And the last. How many ants are there? Good job. There are 13 ants. Jadi, dari gambar tersebut bisa disimpulkan atau bisa dibuat tabel untuk mengumpulkan informasi dari gambar tersebut bisa disimpulkan bahwa jumlah belalang ada 3 sedangkan jumlah kupu-kupu ada 6 sedangkan jumlah ladybug ada berapa? ada 9 sedangkan jumlah semut ada 13 oke okay, boys let's continue to the second question Look at the picture. Put the letter of its shape in the correct place on the Venn diagram below. What letter do you see? Good job. Letter A, B, C, D, E, and F. But they have different shapes. You must sort it by using Venn diagram. This is oval. Please write the rectangle and also not yellow. Please draw. Which letter is rectangles? Good job. B, D, and E is rectangles. And the letter which color is not yellow? What letter are there? Good job. C, A, and F. B and F belong to the two groups. Jadi huruf B dan F itu merupakan bagian dari dua kelompok tersebut. Sama-sama berwarna biru. Oke, okay, let's continue to practice number 3. Put the name of its shape in the correct place on the Venn diagram. There is triangle, square, pentagon, and also hexagon. That is the sentence how to differentiate it. More than four sides and less than six sides. Let's remember about triangle, square, and pentagon and also hexagon. Triangles has three sides. Segitiga memiliki tiga sisi. Square has four sides. 
Segi empat memiliki empat sisi. Pentagon has five sides. Pentagon memiliki lima sisi. And hexagon has six sides. Hexagon memiliki enam sisi. Now, please classify it. Which shape has more than four sides? Bangun apa saja yang memiliki sisi lebih dari empat? Good job. Pentagon and also hexagon. And then, what shape which has less than six sides? Bangun apa yang memiliki sisi kurang dari enam? Good job. Triangle, square, and also pentagon. So, from the information above, it can be concluded that pentagon belong to the two groups. Jadi, dari Venn diagram di atas bisa disimpulkan bahwa pentagon itu merupakan bagian dari kedua grup tersebut. Grup pertama ada pentagonnya, grup yang kedua juga ada pentagonnya. Jadi, pentagon diletakkan di tengah-tengah. Okay, now let's continue to the second point that is making and understanding graphs. Membuat dan juga memahami grafik. Let's learn together. Mari kita belajar bersama-sama. Number one, here are the favorite food of 22 children. Ini adalah makanan favorit dari 22 anak. What picture or what food do you see in the picture? There is ice cream, bread, and etc. Ardi draws a pictogram to show their favorite food. Jadi Ardi menggambar pictogram untuk menunjukkan makanan-makanan favorit mereka. How many star does Ardi have to draw to show the numbers of children who like beans? Berapa banyak bintang yang harus digambar oleh Ardi? Untuk menunjukkan jumlah anak yang suka beans, kacang ya. And then the next question is, how many types of food are there? Ada berapa banyak makanan yang ada di gambar tersebut? How to solve it? You may use this diagram. Each star stand for one child. Jadi satu bintang itu mere merepresentasikan satu anak. How many types of food are there? What food do you see? There are potato, ice cream, cake, beans, and also bread. There are six kinds of food. How many children likes potato? Let's count. How many? Good job. There are four children who likes potato. How about ice cream? How many children likes ice cream? Good job. There are six children likes ice cream. And the next food is cake. How many children likes cake? Good job. There are five children. And the next food is beans. How many children likes beans? Good job. There are three children like beans. And the last, how many children like bread? Good job. There are four children like bread. Jadi, piktogram ini bisa merepresentasikan informasi tentang jumlah jenis makanan dan juga berapa jumlah anak yang menyukai makanan-makanan tersebut Ardi has to draw three star to show the numbers of children who like spin jadi ternyata Ardi harus menggambar tiga bintang untuk, untuk menunjukkan jumlah anak yang menyukai beans Okay, let's continue to practice the next numbers the next question Number one, here are two yoyos, three soap salt, soap A, soap B, and also soap C. 
ini ada tiga toko yang menjual yoyo toko A, toko B, toko C the question is complete the pictogram lengkapilah pictogram berikut eight circles stand for one yoyo jadi satu lingkaran itu merepresentasikan satu yoyo let's begin to the shop E shop E, how many yoyo are there? good job, there are five yoyos and how about shop B? good job, there are three yoyos how about shop C? good job there are eight yoyos And the next question is How many yoyos were sold all together? Berapa jumlah yoyo yang dijual keseluruhannya? Let's add from shop A, shop B, and also shop C 5 add by 3 add by 8 is equal to 16 So the total yoyo sold together all together is 16 Question number two. Please look at the pictogram. The pictogram shows the number of fish Richard catches in the five days. Jadi diagram berikut itu menunjukkan tentang jumlah ikan yang ditangkap oleh Richard di dalam lima hari. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, Richard catches eight fish. On Tuesday. And also on Friday, Richard cuts five fish. On Wednesday, Richard only cuts one fish. And the Thursday, Richard cuts two fish. Its fish stand for one fish. The question number one: Richard catches the same numbers of fish on blah 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 and blah blah blah. Richard menangkap ikan dengan jumlah yang sama pada hari apa anak-anak good job on Tuesday and Friday on Tuesday and Friday Richard catches five fish jadi pada hari Selasa dan hari Jumat Richard menangkap lima ikan untuk question B he catches the most number of fish on blah 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 Richard menangkap ikan paling banyak pada hari apa anak-anak good job on Monday the question C he catches the least number of fish on blah 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 Richard menangkap ikan paling sedikit pada hari blah 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 what day good job Wednesday and the last the question D he catches 10 fish all together on blah 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 and blah 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 Richard menangkap 10 ikan keseluruhan pada hari apa dan hari apa hari apa ditambah hari apa sehingga jumlah ikan yang ditangkap 10 what day? good job Monday and Thursday on Monday Richard cuts eggs fish and on Thursday Thursday Richard cuts two fish and then the next answer On Tuesday and also on Friday, he also catches 10 fish all together. Jadi selain hari Selasa dan hari Kamis, ternyata hari sorry selain hari Senin dan hari Kamis, ternyata hari Selasa dan hari Jumat, Richard juga menangkap 10 ikan keseluruhannya. Oke, okay, that's all boys. You have studied about carol and also fan diagram to sort the object and in the second point you have studied about making and understanding graphs now the time for you to do the activity please open your mathematic book page 146 up to 147 and then page 148 and 149 the last page 152 up to 153
Good luck, boys. Thank you so much for the nice attention. Keep spirit, keep happy, and also keep healthy. The last I said, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.